Good morning. Good morning. And to God be the glory. We honor the Lord for this is a day that he has made and we are rejoicing and we are glad in it. I am just grateful to God for his faithfulness and for his promises. And I'm eternally grateful for his love. Nobody can love us like Jesus. Don't you agree? I thank the Lord that even today, as we praise, as we worship, as we intercede, as we declare the word of the Lord, that that which is done in heaven is going to be released into the earth ground today. Don't you want to bring heaven to earth today? Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done, God, in earth as it is in heaven. Bring it on down. Somebody declare, bring it on down. So I am so, uh, we have our prophets with us today. We have some of our intercessors, our worshipers, our prophetic re releasers. Uh, they are on the line and they will be declaring the word of the Lord. This is Fourth Sunday, prophetic release. And I am just uh, anticipating a word from God. How many of you know when God speaks, everything in life shifts. When God speaks, the winds must cease. The rains must cease. The storms must cease. When God speaks, his voice uh, will settle and command the enemy to loose and let the people go. When God speaks, I just want God speaks. When God speaks, new dimensions uh, will begin to come forth. Somebody declared this morning, speak, Lord, for your servants are listening. When God speaks, destiny is released. Uh, when God speaks, the next level, the next realms and new mantles are released. Somebody declare on the line this morning, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. I want you to anoint your ears that you might hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying. On this morning, I declare you have the ear of the learned. You have the ear that is conditioned to hear what God is saying and how he is saying it. I declare on the line this morning that even as the prophetic word comes forth and as the priests and the ministers and the prophets as they shall come forth this morning i decree and declare they also have the tongue of the learned and the tongue of the learned is going to speak a word in season to those who need it anybody need a word i need to hear a word from the lord lift your hands everywhere you are and declare speak lord for your servant is listening i am the servant of the lord and I am listening for the voice of God. All right, let us receive MIT Allison Haynes. As she comes, she's going to open us up in prayer and declaring the word of the Lord. And she's going to go right into worship. And let's enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. We don't want any prophetic word that does not come from the throne of heaven. We don't want a prophetic word that's coming out of somebody's feeling and emotion. We want the word of God and the word of God only. And that means we must set the atmosphere for he inhabits the praises of his people. Let's set the atmosphere this morning for the spirit of the Lord to move. God bless you, Allison. God bless you. Amen. We just thank you, Lord, for everything that you're doing. God, we're so blessed to be here, to be able to praise and worship and honor and adore your name because you are so good and your mercy endured forever. God, we can be anywhere in this world, but we're here with you, God, and it's a privilege and an honor to do that. So we're going to go to the book of Psalm and we're going to read 149. And it says, praise ye the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song and praise in his congregation of saints. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let them praise, sing praises unto him with the trembling heart. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. He will beautify the meek with salvation. 
Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with feathers of iron, to execute upon them, upon them the judgment written, this honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. God, we're so thankful, Lord, to be in your presence. We're just so here to bless you and honor you, Lord, for everything that you've done. God, you are so righteous. You're so lovely. You're so good. Lord, we praise you with the fruit of our lips, God. You want us to sing unto you a new song. And Lord, today we're singing unto you a new song, God. We're coming before your presence, Lord, laying it all down. We're saying, God, you are a deliverer. God, you are a savior. God, you are righteousness. God, you are king. God, and there is no one like you. Oh, Lord, you be lifted up high above the heavens, high above the earth, God. Oh, there's no one like you, God, and we exalt you forever, God. Oh, Lord, you reign forever, God. You reign forever, God. And we want to speak well of you, Lord. We want to magnify your name, God. We want to say that you are our king, God. We thank you, Lord, today that you have brought us, Lord, in this virtual service, God. Oh, Lord, thank you, Lord, for bringing your prophets, God. Thank you, Lord, for bringing forth your ministers and your worship singers, God. Oh, Lord, that we may bring forth a word that is changing, God. Let us hear you, God, like never before, Lord, so your people will be blessed bless. Huh? So your people will be encouraged, God. Huh? So your people will receive what you're trying to say to them on today, God. We come against all dull here and right now in the name of Jesus. So we want to hear what the word of the Lord is saying and this time, God. Huh? Oh, Lord, open up our ears to hear you, God. Open up our hearts to receive, God. Huh? We want to receive everything that you have for us, God. Huh? Oh, Lord, let your word bring forth change, God. Huh? Oh, let, us, let it purify our hearts, God. Huh? Let it purify our minds, God. Huh? that we will be new creatures in you, God, because there's nobody like you, Lord. And we want to live and breathe to worship and praise you, God, and do your will, God. Not our will, God, but thy will be done on today, God. Oh, God, we bless you, Lord. There is no one like you. There's nothing like a sweet, sweet presence, God, that you have uh, saturated, God, today, God, uh, that you have put on us, God. Uh, oh, God, we thank you, Lord, for your presence, God. Uh, oh, Lord, we thank you, Lord, because it is a privilege to be right here, God, uh, in this time, uh, to be able to uh, sing your praises, God, uh, and let you know how much we love you, God, uh, and let you know, Lord, uh, that there's nothing we can do to repay you, but the least that we can do is live for you, God, uh, and honor you with everything that we do, God. God, and we want to bless you, God, because you are worthy, God. Oh, and you are mighty, God, and you are strong, God, and you are the peace giver, God. We thank you, Lord, that today you are someone's peace, God. We thank you, Lord, today that you are someone's uh chain breaker right now today, God. We thank you, Lord, that you are somebody's Abba Father today, God. We thank you, Lord, that you are someone's healer on today, God. And we thank you, Lord. You're awesome, God, and you're mighty. Change me, oh God, to be more Wash me through and through. Create in me a clean heart so that I may worship you. Lord, I want you to 
chains to change us, Lord. From the inside out, Lord, make us new, Lord, and change us. Hallelujah, change us. Hallelujah, change us, hallelujah, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Hallelujah. With those hands lifted, with those hands lifted all over, come on, declare, Lord, you're able. I don't care what you're facing this morning, declare my God is able. He's able to do exceeding abundantly above all that I could ask or think. Declare this morning that our God is able. He's a God of miracles, signs and wonders. Declare this morning. My God is able. Will you just declare, my God is able. Come on. He can do exceeding abundantly above all that I could ask or think. Somebody just declare that God is able and he's moving by his spirit. We have to continue to say, Lord, I believe. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what it sounds like. I don't care what the doctors are saying, what the attorneys are saying. My job is saying, I believe. Lord, I believe. Declare this morning. Lord, I believe. I believe. Uh, Elder Eric is on with the word from the Lord. Let's hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. My God is able. This morning, uh, I was speaking to the Lord and asking him, what do you want me to tell your people? And he didn't have anything at first. And I was like, well, God, you know, if you don't have anything for me to deliver, then that's okay. I'm fine with that. But then all of a sudden, God, my God, my God, my God. He shared with me the word anchor. And when he shared that word with me, he told me to tell you to have hope in the midst of the trials, the difficulties, the challenges, the unpredictable things that are going on in this world today. He told me to tell you to anchor yourself in the Lord. The word says in Hebrews 6, 19, or let me, give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. Yeah, that's right. Hebrews 6, 19, which hope we have as an anchor of our soul both sure and set fast. And you might have heard that song where it talks about anchoring yourself in the Lord. So today the Lord is saying, no matter what trials, no matter what tribulations, what difficulties, what you going through, what the world is, the things of the world are happening, you know, with the COVID and people are passing away and it looks bleak and businesses are failing. He says, don't worry. Don't worry, anchor yourself in the Lord. So if you have to do it in the spirit and you get that anchor in your hand and whatever you're going through, the ties may be going back and forth. You, oh, hallelujah. There may be things that's happening. You may be suffering right now, but he says, anchor yourself in me and I will do the rest. Don't worry no more. Hope is coming. Change is coming today. So I give you glory, God. I give you honor, God. I give you praise, God, this morning, God, for reminding the people to anchor this yourselves in the Lord. The word says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans for welfare, for good and not evil, for a future and hope. So today, people, I'm encouraging you to have hope in the Lord. Anchor yourself in the Lord. Everything's going to be all right no matter what it looks like right now. Thank you, God. 
I thank you, God, for the people that are on this line today that are going through something, that are having challenges, that are having difficulties. Lord God, that you remind them to anchor themselves in you, God. So we give you glory, God. We give you honor today, God, to reminding us to anchor ourselves in you and trust in you, in the name of Jesus. I give you glory, God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. I hope that helps someone today. Oh, God, I thank you, God. Oh, I give you glory, God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. This is what I heard when um, the baby was singing, the first worshiper. And just bear with us. Just let's let's worship him a little deeper. So I see the rain falling, fresh rain over our lives in areas that was destitute. I hear the Lord saying, there is fresh rain. Just begin to worship him out of your spirit. No matter what the sounds of heaven you may hear, just flow with those sounds in this time and this hour and watch him water the dry places. Doesn't matter what it may sound to someone else, but in your private time, just worship him. Let the sounds of heavens, let the moans and the groans from heaven flow out of your bodies like never before. And I am stretching and bringing water into places that were dry that you were not aware of. So remember today to just worship me through the sounds that you hear from heaven, from the sounds that you hear in your belly. Allow the rivers of life to flow and bring you into the deeper depths of me and hear the sounds. And that's what I heard. I hear the sounds, I steer him, I hear the harps. I hear the angels, and it's just a worship party, and it's just who so. Praise our God. Hallelujah. Praise our God. We give God glory and praise on this morning. Praise our Lord. And the Lord says, I love you. The day is evil, but I am in with you. I will fight every battle 
for you. Stay close to me in your relationship, uh, in your prayer, in your worship time, in the word of God. Believe the word of God. Mm. Believe the word of God and what it is promised you. And I will watch over my word, hallelujah, to perform it. For it is, uh, this is a new season for my people. For my might and my strength and my power is great in the earth. Look to me, the Lord thy God, and not to man. For I am the creator over heaven and earth. I have the last word over your life circumstances. Hmm. The Lord thy God, ask me according to my word and I will answer your prayers. I love you with an everlasting love, says the Lord thy God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, yeah, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, wonderful. Oh, my Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Just in continuing on with the sound and, the, and um, piggybacking and going back from where Prophetess Deborah left off the sound as she was ministering the sound a dream that i had earlier last week came back to me and it's the sound of the most high the sound of god that is moving through the earth it is the sound of god and it's deliberately amen when the sound of god you hear the sound it is the movement of god and be mindful that even in the sound there is silence so as you are even hearing i encourage you to open your spiritual ears to hear what the Lord is saying in this season as he is making a sound. He is making a sound that is changing. He is making a sound that is healing. He is making a sound that is delivering. He is making a sound that is sending forth and out the gospel, the word of truth of salvation. He is making a sound it is a deliberately sound that is being caused to shake the earth, to shake the planet. The sound that we're hearing is the sound that we continue to hear on the media. But in your time of worship, in your time of intercession, as the sound goes forth, your ears shall be open and you shall hear the sound of the Lord. The word of God says, my sheep know my voice and another they shall not follow. So I release that your ears, your spiritual hearing be open. The wisdom of God be upon you with understanding that as you hear the sound, you may understand and know and follow and obey. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. As prophetess Mary Haynes was going forth, I heard the Lord saying, I will be with you. I will be with you. I will be with you if you will only trust me, trust me, trust me. I'll fight your battle. I'll fight your battle. I'll fight 
your battle if you will only trust me trust me trust me he said i'll never leave that's his promise i'll never leave you i'll never leave you if you will only trust me trust me trust me trust me trust me I'll fight your battle. I'll fight your battle. I'll fight your battle if you will only trust me. Trust me. Trust me, trust me, trust me, hallelujah. Bless your name, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lift those hands and declare, Lord, I trust you. Come on. Lord, I trust you. Lord, I trust you. There's Elder Linda. Come on. I trust you. Some, I don't know what you're going through. Some of you are in a season where it seems as the one trial after the next. But no matter what it is, do not lose your faith. Do not lose your hope. You declare, Lord, I trust you. I trust you. I trust you. Elder Linda, thank you, Jesus. I trust you. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for this word that you've given me today. Um, it, I recall um, a, a famous poem footprints in the sand. And although it's not a Bible verse, there's many um, Bible verses that support that. And so, you know, God is with you. And even if you're going through good times, his footsteps are right beside you. And when you're going through those bad times, there's only that one set of footprints. And that's his because he's carrying you. And I ask you people out there who are believers in the Lord, that you cast all your cares upon him. And while he's carrying you, take advantage of learning from the almighty. Ask him what um, you are, what he's trying to teach you um, in this season. What is he trying to teach you? And so um, through his teaching, um, he is the one that gets all the glory. So he's letting you know that whatever you are going through, that he gets the glory in all that um, is answered and done. He gets the glory. He has the final say. And in Proverbs um, 3, 5, it says, lean not on your own understanding, but in all your ways, submit to him and he will direct your path. So remember, um, saints, that he is directing your path. And when you're going through the trials and tribulations, that that one set of footsteps in the sand is his because he's carrying you. He cares for you. So thank God that we have a living God and that he still answers prayers and that he carries us. And that when he is carrying you, 
you have his undivided attention. Speak to him and he will direct your path. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I just hear the spirit of the Lord saying, forgetting those things which are behind and pressing forth um, to the high mark of the high calling on today. For many have been stuck in the past. Even the things that happened on yesterday are in the past. Even the things that have happened an hour ago is in the past. And God is urging his people on today to press forward uh, in the things of him. Hallelujah. I don't, uh, you can't afford in this hour to be like Lot's wife. Uh, and forever suspended between her yesterday and, and her tomorrow. Hallelujah. Glory to his name for God is burning down uh, that which uh, has come to hinder you from your past. He's erasing your past and he is giving uh, you a new start on today. So forget those things that are behind, those things that that have you bound those things ah uh, yes that that continue to to come up um in your mind hallelujah stop rehearsing the past and look forward to that which god has for you for god is ushering in ah uh, you into your next god is ushering ushering in god is ushering you ah uh, to to the new place that he has for you forget those things which are behind and press hallelujah it may take a press but press towards the mark of the high call hallelujah thank you Come on, the press, the press. Pastor Leslie, come on with the worship. The press, the press. We hear the word of the Lord. Receive the word of the Lord this morning. I'm grateful for how the Lord is ministering uh, through his servants. And each one that God has given uh, a word, a word of encouragement, a word of strength, a word of comfort, a word of peace, a word of joy. He's releasing it even on today. Some of you really need to lift up. I, uh, I'm going to give it to Pastor Leslie. I have to get this. Pastor Leslie. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He's my peace. Peace, you're my peace. Peace, my peace. Peace, you're my peace. Peace. you my peace i give to you not as this world giveth give i unto you let not your heart be troubled neither let it be afraid peace my peace you're my peace the lord said peace be still he was sharing with me he said hold your peace 
And he was, when he was sharing with me, he was telling us to hold our peace. He showed me how we hold something close to us. We hold something dear to our, our heart. And he was saying to hold our peace, to hold your peace, the peace that I give to you, the peace that passes all understand it, hold it dear. And when and he said, don't hold anxiety, don't hold chaos, don't hold confusion, hold peace, release those things, but hold my peace, it comforts. So hold my peace, don't let it go, hold it like you're holding on to something, hold it tight. Peace, you're my peace. I'll give you peace. When the storm is raging, I'll be your light. When the road ahead sinks deep, I have the power. Just put your trust in me. Anything you need, have faith in me. Just ask, just ask in my name. Oh, oh. Just ask, just ask in my name. I am the Lord. I can move all mountains. I'll give you strength when you're weary and weak and torn. Believe in my promise. I will take care of you. Anything you need, have faith in me. Just ask, just ask in my name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is good. We uh, thank our prophets and our psalmists uh, and our intercessors for the ministry uh, that they have given unto the body of Christ on this morning. Um, the Lord is faithful and he is just and he is kind. And I, I thank him for how he continuously blesses us with the word. And the word that he blesses us with is a word that is fruitful. It is a word that is on time. It is a word that uh, lifts us up when we are down. It lifts up our hung down heads when our heads are down. It gives us peace, as Pastor Leslie just ministered to us. It gives us peace. It gives us joy. Uh, and it is with joy that we can draw uh, joy out of, out of the uh, waters, out of the wells of salvation. Our God is good. Our God is uh, amazing. And we thank him for his word. Amen. I'm going to bring Elder Sam on to uh, minister one more uh, uh, worship or ministry, and then we'll be right back uh, to do the blessing over our offering. Amen. Amen. Deacon Daryl, if you could turn Elder Sam's camera on, please. Hallelujah. We bless you, Lord God. We bless you. Hallelujah. God is good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God on this morning. We've ascended in worship and and I, you know, recall during the week, we, uh, during our early morning prayer, Prophetess uh, Haynes had gone into a, a, a 
spirit of, of warfare. And as we know, we are in war daily, amen, fighting against the flesh and the things of the flesh and the things of this world. But uh, how many know, just as Jesus said in uh, his word when he was in the garden and praying, he bowed down and he even asked the Lord to take this cup from me. But he said unto God, uh, God, nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. Hallelujah. So we just want to give God a nevertheless praise on this morning. Amen. Praise him that God is fighting for us. Praise him that he is in the battle for us. We have won already. It's already done because he is fighting for us. He's with us. Amen. Hallelujah. And so I hear the words of a song that our, our elder uh, chaplain Mary wrote for us. It's an original song, and I'm going to just release that, amen, because God is doing, God is with us. He's turning things around. He's fighting for our battle. The devil, the enemy is under our feet on this morning. Hallelujah. He is under our feet. Oh, yes, he's under our feet. The enemy is under our feet. He has given us authority to trample the enemy, trample the enemy underground. Mountains hope is here. God's prayer warriors are here to turn situations around. He has given us authority to trample the enemy, trample the enemy underground. He is under our feet. Oh yes, he's under our feet. The enemy is under our feet. God has given us authority to trample the enemy, trample the enemy underground. He is under our feet. Oh, yes, he's under our feet. Yes, the enemy is under our feet. God has given us authority to trample the enemy, trample the enemy underground. Mountains hope is here. God's prayer warriors are here. God's prophets are here to turn situations around. God has given us authority to trample the enemy, trample the enemy underground. He is under our feet. Oh, yes, he's under our feet. The enemy is under our feet. God has given us authority to trample the enemy, trample the enemy underground. Hallelujah. So this is how I fight my battles. Yeah, this is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I, this is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I, it may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. Oh yes, God. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. You've got me, God. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. Oh, it may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. This is how I fight my battles. Yes, this is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I, this is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. So come on, release your nevertheless shout on this morning. Hallelujah. Give the Lord glory. Give the Lord praise for everything he has spoken unto us this morning. Hallelujah. He has girded us up. Hallelujah. He has enabled us to stand. Hallelujah. After we've done all people of God to stand, stand therefore in the name of Jesus, in the power Power and the authority of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I bless the Lord on this morning. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. 
God bless you, Elder Sam. Thank you, Apostle. Come on um, and close us. The amen. Hallelujah. Okay. Hallelujah. Come on. This is how I fight my battles. Come on. We honor God today and we bless God. What a mighty God we serve. Amen. We honor him. Listen, I want to ask, I, first of all, I want to thank all of you for your prayers. I had to get off of the phone, off of the line for just a moment because I'd gotten a phone call. My husband, most of you know, my husband is in the hospital and uh, he has to go through rehabilitation. Now he had a, a emergency hip replacement, a partial hip replacement surgery. And so now he has to go through rehabilitation and I just got confirmation that he's been accepted into the facility that I desired. Now, Pastor Michelle, I'm gonna have you close us out because I'm getting another call from the hospital. Will you close us out? Pray for my sister-in-law, his brother passed. So please pray for my sister-in-law. Amen. All right. Praise the Lord. All right, saints. Let us pray for um, Lily Chess first, and then we will have our time of offering and giving. Praise the Lord. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I lift up Lily Chess to you. We collectively lift up Lily Chess to you. Father God, we pray that you would strengthen her heart and touch her heart and give her all that is needed as she goes through this time of loss, Lord God, uh, at this time of grief, that you would just bless her with your comfort and bless her uh, with even a joy that is unspeakable, a joy that is un not even easy to understand, uncomprehendable joy, even in this time. Give her strength, Lord God. Supply every single need in the name of Jesus. I thank you that you are the blesser and you care what happens to your family, to your children. We lift up Lily Chess. We lift up the Chess family. We lift up Elder Troy. We lift up our own Apostle Chess, Lord God. We lift them up to you that you might strengthen them, that you might guide them, that you might be their help in the time of need. And we thank you for your blessing. In the name of Jesus the Christ, we pray. Amen and amen and amen. All right, <laughs> saints, let us fight our battle with our seed, amen. This is one of the ways we can fight um, is when we give, when we give of our substance, hallelujah. And when we give of our talents and when we give of our time, that is one of the ways that we fight against uh, poverty. It's one of the ways we fight against lack. It's one of the ways that we, we fight against every trick of the enemy is when we plant our seed and when we give of our increase. In the morning, sow thy seed. And in the evening, do not hold it back for we don't know which one will prosper. Will it be this one or the other one? Or will it, will it, will it be both? Hallelujah. And that is the ultimate blessing when they both, and every seed that have been planted, when they all prosper, that is an ultimate blessing uh, that uh, we are, uh, we can have, we can hold, that the Lord can give upon us, especially when we give with a cheerful heart. Hallelujah. So Father, we thank you. Hold up your, uh, your, your giving devices, uh, our giving methods, our, our, uh, Cash app at dollar sign MHCWC, or you can go to our website, www.mhcwc.org. And the PayPal button is right there in the top right hand corner, or you can go directly to PayPal, mhcwc.org. Hallelujah. So let's hold up those devices. Father God, we thank you that you have given us seed to sow, and you have given us a heart and a mind to give, and you are allowing us to give cheerfully unto your work. Bless every seed that is sown. Bless every household that gives, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. I thank you that there shall be no lack in the houses, in the homes, and in the families of your children as we give unto the work of the Lord. We thank you for it now in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. So we're going to prepare to um, go ahead and leave. And before we go, I do want to remind everyone that next Sunday is first Sunday. So it is our, uh, 
uh, uh, member connection Sunday, uh, tomorrow, uh, next Sunday after service at 1230 um, PM on our own private Zoom line. Make sure you get the link, get the link early because we want to see your faces. We want to see your faces and we want to be able to wave to you and tell you hello where you can hear our voices and see our smiles at the same time. Uh, we normally also get to hear a few words from Elder Troy. Prayerfully, we'll get to hear from him next Sunday as well. So please make sure you get the link so that you can be with us at our uh, membership connection. Next Sunday is also a communion Sunday. So remember to prepare your home for communion. And even if you have children who are in the youth ministry on Sunday mornings, prepare the communion for them as well so that we can partake together. Amen. And that really, that's our all of our announcements. Remember our prayer, prayer schedule for the whole week um, on our, um, our regular prayer line. Uh, I can't get it up for you right now, but please remember, we'll have it posted right there on Facebook and those numbers and times are also on, um, are also on our website. All right, now our apostle is back. She's gonna have a few more words and close us out. Thank you. I'm back. Thank you again to all the prophets and those who released the word of the Lord. Thank you, Pastor Michelle, for stepping in this morning. And uh, again, I want to thank you all for your uh, prayers and for, uh, God, I thank the Lord truly for his faithfulness. Uh, my husband is doing well. I was asking that you please pray for my sister-in-law. Uh, my husband's brother went home to be with the Lord. And so, uh, and that was just Thursday. Pray for my sister-in-law, Lily. She's always on the line uh, with us. And she's always in prayer and worship and in the word with us. Also, I want us to continue to pray for uh, John Harris. Uh, Sister Toria's husband, as he was in surgery this morning, and I don't have an update, but let's continue to pray for John, and let's pray for Toria. Toria, the strength of God is yours. The peace of God is your portion. Uh, the hand of God is upon you, and he's directing the surgeons, and everything uh, that has to do with John, God's got it. I want you to be encouraged, Toria. I bless you all. Hold on to the word of the Lord that we receive today. God has really visited us. We receive from heaven everything that God has released. We got our anchor, we received the rain, we received the faithfulness of God, and we're standing on his promises. Don't let go, people of God. Stand on the promises of God. Pastor Leslie can come back. I bless you all. We seal the word of the Lord today. I thank God for uh, all of you, Father. I just thank you for the blessing of God that makes rich and you add no sorrow to it. I thank you for the joy of the Lord that is the strength for these that are on the line right now. I thank you for the encouragement, God, that you release, the comfort that you release, God, the exhortation that you release, and we receive everything that heaven has for us. We bless you, Lord. We thank you and give you glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Pastor Leslie is going to close us out uh, as we uh, uh, finish off this last uh, uh, moment in worship. God bless you, Pastor Leslie. Nothing is as strong as your blood. This is how I fight my battle. This is how I fight. Nothing. Is as strong as your blood. Nothing is as strong as your blood. Nothing is as strong as your blood. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood. Of of Jesus, cause this is how I fight. And this is how I fight my battles. Nothing is as strong as your blood. Nothing is as strong as your blood. Nothing this strong as your blood. This is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight.